Hey guys, welcome back to Brie OCD. Remember, if you like my channel, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and tell your friends. It's Brie OCD time, baby. Day one of week nine, we are eight weeks out from my meet. I am in the strength phase and I look damn good right now. That workout just killed me. I did squats five by two at 185 high bar. So that's the most for high bar I've had on my back in a long time and definitely for doubles. And then we did a circuit after those squats that was killer. It was three per side back lunges, six push-ups, six burpees, do that eight rounds, and then that was bookended by a 300 meter run. So I am dead to say, needless to say, eight weeks out, week nine, strength training, let's go. I stepped on the scale this morning and I was 106.6. I'm getting closer, people. I gotta be 105.7, which again, doesn't seem like a lot, but I am little. So there's not much room for that to come off, but I'm going in the right direction. However, I keep fluctuating like 106.6 to 107.2. So hopefully we are on the downward trend here. I haven't been logging my food. I was supposed to start yesterday after the snap blogging conference and it's a pain in the butt. I don't want to log and I should because all my recipes are already in my fitness pal. It should be easy peasy. But then I would know when I was sneaking the little Rolos after my lunches that I wasn't supposed to be doing that. So I do need to get back on that track. I will, I will do this, but 106.6, feeling good, feeling fine, let's go. Day two in the books, it was all upper body today and I am super tired today. Like I could have fell asleep on the bench. So I did bench sets of 10, 8, 8, 6, 6 with a three second eccentric, which means three seconds on the way down, no pause, push up. It was harder than I thought. I stayed around 80 pounds because my body is like toasted. Then I went into all the accessory work, eight per side dumbbell strict press. I did some 12 seated rear delt raises. Both of those I did for four sets. Then I went into 12 machine cable flies, which futzing around with that machine a little bit, but 12 machine cable flies and then eight dumbbell Arnold presses, which I had to look those up to make sure I did them right. But uh, I really like those actually. So all in all, a killer upper body day. And I'm ready to kind of get after this day. It's about to start raining here in San Diego, but uh, day two. In the books, let's go. Day three, oh man, oh man. I've been in there for over two hours at 24 Hour Fitness. It was pitch black when I went in and it is light as day now. Uh, and it was rough today. Like my body felt rough. There wasn't a lot of people in there to spot. Uh, so I, on the way to the gym, I was coaching myself. You was strong, you was healthy. You was gonna kill it because it's a big squat and bench day today. And then before I went to squat, I was so nervous. My normal spotter, Jeff, from last week wasn't there. So I had to ask someone new and I was squatting 195 by three for two sets. So I asked this kid to spot me. I gave him my normal spiel. Don't touch me. Let me die. I might grind. Let me go. And he's like, okay. All right. Got it. Got it. And then he says, do you need a lift off? Do I need a lift off from the spot? I'm like, oh, geez, Louise, this kid. So whatever, he spotted me, it was fine, he didn't touch me. So then I go to bench and I got a bench 115 by three, paused, right? So I haven't done that in a long time. So I go over, there's no benches and they're taken, all three are taken. And one guy who I know is not benching, he just uses the bench for like do bicep curls and weird things. And by weird things, I mean, he like rolls his crotch out on the big, balls right on the big uh, exercise balls he like rolls himself out anywho i went up to him i said are you using this bench and he said oh excuse me and anyways he ended up looking he saw that all the benches were taken he got out of the way so i got that bench i hit my 115 by three then i backed off down to sets of 105 for um five sets of four so i was i was in there forever and then deadlifts 
Deadlifts felt like death. I was supposed to get up to 245 to 265 for five sets of four, and I just couldn't do it. I ended up getting to 245 by the last two sets, but they felt like crap. I got to go home and ice if I have time before my meeting. So I got to get after this day, people. I got stuff to do. So it was a long day in there. I can't wait to get back to P360. I just can't wait. So day three in the books. Let's go. Day four at P360. I am glistening with beauty, aren't I? Uh, it was just a big complex today. Supposed to be 45 minutes. We didn't even get through it all. It was stuff all with the barbell. So RDLs. Uh, it was barbell rows. Then you did a 300 meter run. You went into another complex with hip thrusters and high pulls all with the barbell. And then you went into another complex with floor press and ab rollouts, which are tough. My belly, I wouldn't call it abs, is going to be super sore tomorrow from those. But all in all, a great complex. You did everything with a pal. So I did it with at little Jen. Yeah, what up? Uh, so good day, day four. I got a couple signings today. Stuff is picking up, baby. Happy Friday. Hope everyone has a great day. Peace. Day five, it's Saturday at Open Gym at P360, and I felt damn good today. Uh, I did some paused low bar squats up to 155 for three sets of four, and they felt damn good. I was using my little baby breadsticks. I wasn't shooting my butt out. And they felt good. So then I went into bench. I hit a top set of 125. And that felt pretty good. It was pretty smooth. And then went back down to 115 and did two reps at 110 for a couple sets. So bench felt really good. So I was like, woo, I'm doing great. Then went into sumo deadlifts. And those actually felt great at 260. Then I went down to 235 for four sets of five and my little fingers were killing me because I've been hook gripping. Normally like it, but not for that many reps. So all in all, a frigging phenomenal Saturday. I got a notary signing later, then I'm heading to little Jen, little Jen, little Jen's birthday at the tavern and just getting after this weekend. Tomorrow's Easter. So hope everyone has a very happy Easter. By the time you see this, Easter will be over. But hope you had a very happy Easter and make it a good day. Food to come. What I've been eating all week long. Let's go. That was for you, Chris. Week nine. Eight weeks out, in the books. Remember, if you like my channel, subscribe, give me a thumbs up until your friends.